We are getting very close to the end, folks. Almost that's all, folks. As if this was Looney Tunes. Um, so we killed this boss. You killed this boss. Through this double, or through this arch right here. I affectionately call this boss the Dragon Poop Boss. Because there's dragons to the left of you and to the right of you that throw poop at you during the whole time. <laughs> and this is this is a bizarre section where there's two uh, bonfires really close to each other. So this is the bonfire for defeating the boss. The next one up here in Uno Momento. Ah, here we go. Grand Archives. Bonfire. So this little key right here. If this is not here, if there's not an item sitting right here, that means that you missed something along the way. One of the other major bosses. Um, so go back and try to figure out what areas you missed. Uh, the major bosses you may have missed would be, um, let's see, Aldrich in the uh, <clears throat> in Anor Londo. Uh, Yorm and Deacons of the Deep. I believe those are the three bosses that you need to kill before this item will be right here. The Grand Archives Key. And the Gothard Twin Swords. Like, if you want to do a Deadpool build, that's kind of what you're going to use. <laughs> so, Grand Archives Key is right there. So, if you haven't killed those three, those are the three main bosses. If you haven't killed them yet, then that key will not be chilling there for you. The Grand Archives. You can see the boss that's resurrected from before. Actually, that's not a boss per se. That is just a resurrection of a boss that you fought before. So we're going to sprint away from him. There are a lot of shortcuts in this area. A ton of shortcuts. And I'm going to do my best to miss most of them. <laughs> well, no, actually, no, that's not true. I'm going to do my best to uh, just get through this area as quickly as possible. Find your way up these big stairs. There's dudes everywhere. They all have candles on their head. There is a way to turn your head into a candle, but it's not, uh... But you can't light it on fire, unfortunately. Alright, so you see those hands that are popping out of the bookshelves. Those actually end up being kind of handy. Wait, no, I'm kidding. Uh, so... <clears throat> Those hands that are on the bookshelves, they will curse you. Just a quick tip for getting through this area. If you put your head, there's a couple of these uh, wax pools in the archives here. If you dunk your head in the wax, your head turns into a candle. It has no adverse effects, it's only positive. And uh, will this bookshelf, will this bookshelf do it? No, I guess not. So those hands that come out of the bookshelves, now will not curse you. You're invincible. If your head is a candle, you're, you're invincible. Hey, mister. You don't want to drink a candle, do you? Maybe I do, son. Maybe I do. So you make your way out here. The candle's optional, but I might like to come back. So I'm going to figure that out. So this is an enemy that if you kill one time, it's gone permanently. So I'll probably kill him. So way up these stairs. Oh, jeez. Run past all these dudes. Hopefully without dying. If your head's a candle, you'll be fine. You won't get cursed. I think you kick this down. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You descend here. Oh, I'm so turned around. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make your way across this bridge. Could have dropped down from from right there, I believe. You can kind of see above the bridge. Instead of taking that ladder down, you could have just rolled off. Oh well. Aha! Shortcut. Here we go. Oh, we're so close to the end of the game. I'm so very happy to be finishing up this bonfire to bonfire walkthrough because it's going to make all the rest of the videos that I'm making for this game. What the hell? Oh yeah, you pull this. Now I'll have something to reference. So, oh jeez. 
So I'll show you where we are right now. We are back at the very beginning of this video, basically. Well, we're back at the Grand Archives Bonfire. This is where you found the key that I was pontificating on at the beginning of the video. Go back up here. Whoa! Dude's everywhere. So now you can just make your way to the right here. And up here. Quit running around like a goddamn jackass. The candle thing doesn't last indefinitely. It looks really cool though, doesn't it? It looks like a skull covered in wax. I'm sure to send that elevator back down. Oh, shoot! I'm sure to send that elevator back down. So that it's there if you die and then teleporting back to the bonfire. You make your way up these stairs. Run past all these other candelabras. And candle-faced mofos. Oh, my candle is gone. I have a Pope hat on now. You'd think that, like, the Pope hat would prevent curses from hitting you. But, pff, what do I know? And now we're kind of back outside. This is a very long area uh, between bonfires. There's a lot of different spots to explore. So now we're outside. There's gonna be a couple gigantic gargoyles right there. I don't like these guys. They're difficult to kill, they have a ton of health. Run past them. Let's skip that first one. There's going to be two more up here. And you can see a lot of blood stains already because these gargoyles are pain in the ass. I feel like they have more health than the gargoyles. Uh, the gargoyle boss and Dark Souls 1, and they like to knock you off the roof more than Dark Souls 1. Okay, so we're going to pass those gargoyles into this area. I'm going to get this undead bone shard while I'm there. Takes a lot of running back sometimes. Okay, so this ladder that I just kicked down, I will show you where this kind of loops you back to. Oh, Christ. Only frame rate as well. So, uh, this, that just unlocked a shortcut to the top of that elevator from a minute ago. So, from that elevator, now you don't have to run all the way back outside and pass those gargoyles. You can simply Go to this ladder. <laughs> God, those guys are so inaccurate with their missiles. Uh, they're like stormtroopers. All right, let's see here. So, now you make your way to the right. Another head wax thingy. To prevent the curse of the Guatemalan and Sandy Peppers. Make your way out here. There's gonna be three guys, right, you know, that are not very fun. Uh, and they all like to aggro at the same time. So if you can aggro one of them at a time, good for you. Let's run past them. Now we have this huge staircase in front of us. Is anybody chasing me? Just one of them. Screw you. Okay, so we're gonna make our way up the staircase. Now also keep in mind that there is like another uh, staircase behind you in that dome and there's some stuff to explore over there. But I'm going to ignore that for the moment and let you explore that on your own. Just keep running right up this staircase. And before the boss fight, we're going to open up another shortcut. So through those double doors is the next boss fight. But instead, to the right here, is a go up box. Take the go down box. I want laser hair removal on my nostrils. That sounds really nice sometimes. So I'm about to sneeze and I fucking hate the spring. So you took that elevator all the way down. We are back to Lothric Castle and back to a bonfire before the Grand Archives. 
So... The closest, short, uh, the closest bonfire is going to be... The Dragon Poop boss bonfire. And that is the closest way to get to the next boss fight. So, thanks for checking out this video. Hope it helped. Like always, give it a like if it helped, and share it with a friend, because that's the only way this channel's gonna grow, is if you guys uh, spread the good word. Thanks for watching, and game on.